Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to build a Power Platform community hub in your organization. We are going to use and take advantage by a SharePoint online communication site. I'll show you every step how to build a place where end users can share ideas, knowledge and support each other. Ok, let's get started. Here I am in SharePoint and I am on my new Power Platform Hub that I just created using PowerShell. I reused an existing template provided by Microsoft. In the end, as, as a result, you will have this kind of layout. Moreover, you have a new and interesting navigation that you can use. The content is already there, for every link there is a page. But before to explore the navigation and every SharePoint pages which comes with this template, I'll show you the layout of this home page. I have on the right the Yammer community web part and here users can share thoughts, ideas or updates. Then here we have just a title with a picture, we have some content and as a summary we have success story, we have champion of the week, champion of the week and some content under others. Down below I have events. It's a very nice and good approach to provide webinars or training or learning path that helps every user that deal with Power Platform speed up the adoption. Here I have several events listed. Now let's start to explore the navigation. In the navigation I have getting started. Let's open this page. This is just a normal SharePoint page with a text web part. You can edit this page and change the content as you want. But this is a very solid base where you can start to build your Power Platform Hub. Under Help and Learning, I have four additional pages. I have Guided Learning and this is pretty interesting because here you have three paths. There is Beginner, Intermediate and Advanced. In these three sections, I have several links. I can get more information about automate a business processes using Power Automate, for instance. This opens a new tab in the browser, and here what I have is a learning path, a training page provided by Microsoft, where the user can start to, to learn and get more info about Power Automate. It's pretty cool. There is, for example, this module for building approval flows in Power Automate, Build, flow, build flows to manage user information, Power Automate's deep integration across multiple data sources. It's very, very interesting. User can start to study and take this course to go and take to the next level Power Platform. Now going again on help and learning, I have additional pages like for example, consultation and development. This is just a normal, simple SharePoint page with some text inside. I have the same thing here, but I have uh, this uh, Yammer web part which make a recap of all the uh, conversation around this, this topic. And lastly, I have the support page. So here you can add your support link, which could be an email or another, another page. Under Power Platform at, at Contoso, so you have to replace this with your uh, name, uh, company name, I have Environments, Data Loose Prevention Policies, as known as DLP, and then moving resources and requesting a new premium license. Going in this page, environments, this is very interesting because provides information around environments and help the user get in about this, this topic in the Power Platform. So here there are several information around the, the purpose on environments, Power User, Custom Environments, so here you can even add your link to provide to the user the ability to request more environments or to request custom environments, for example. Now, let's explore moving resources. This other page is just a normal page with the text web part, but here it's explained how you can move resources across environments. Then I have requesting a premium license. This is just a, a sentence with a link that you can add or you can add more information. You can also add the link that point out directly to the Microsoft resources. Let's go with the next, which is news and success story. 
under success stories there is uh, this this web part that give me the chance to to have this card i can click on this card and collect more information around this success story so you can provide your content here as an example for other users and then you can push also champions so people or end user that are very supportive and collaborative with other member of the organization. And this is a nice way to give also a highlight to a specific user just as a reward or compensation for the job that he's doing or she is doing. This is just a page with image and description, but it's up to you how you want to structure this page. But the idea I would say it's pretty nice. And finally, let's go with the last one, which is events. And here I have a couple of pages, one for hackathons or office hours. Hackathons, it's uh, an event provided always by Microsoft. So you can get more info jumping or searching in, uh, in Google this, this information. Then below I have office hours. It's a nice idea also to make a little bit of marketing about organization events for Power Platform. This is an asset, a nice approach to share this information with end users, for example. That's it. This is the Power Platform Hub provided and powered in, in SharePoint. Now I'll show you how you can immediately provide and create this SharePoint site for your organization. Here I am on learn.microsoft.com. More specifically, I am on this article which explain what is a Power Platform Hub and all steps that you can follow to set up this SharePoint communication or team site in your organization on SharePoint. Scrolling down, I have this paragraph, get started with the Power Platform communication site template. And then down below, I have every step. As a prerequisites, you have to follow several steps. First of all, you have to download the Power Platform communication site template that you can find on GitHub. Clicking on this link, this gives you immediately the chance to download the package. I'll show you later what you have to do with this package, but it's pretty simple. You have to extract the content on this package in a specific folder. Then let's move forward. You have to install download and install two commandlet, one for Microsoft Power Apps Administration PowerShell and the second one PMP PowerShell. Going down, we have to make some changes but let's assuming that we have followed every step to have up and running the prerequisites we are now ready theoretically to run our script so let's make every step together i have the package already downloaded and i have visual studio code ready to go but before to open the folder with every files inside i want to clarify this first part or snippet of the PowerShell that you have to take care. So in this first and on top part that you can change, it's very important because here you have to target and provide all your tenant options and variables. For example, in the first one, you have to provide your tenant name and then the company name, the, the language that you, want to, that you want to use to create the Power Platform Hub. 1033 is the standard English United States, but down below here at the position three for the variable three, there is this link enter a locale and this clarify which is which number is the right for your language. So you have just to get the number that you want for your language and you have done. You have to replace here the number and then it's ready to go. Down below I, I have this other variable which identify where to create the Power Platform Hub. In this case I have sites and then Power Platform Hub and this is exactly the URL that I used before to create the Power Platform Hub. Then I have the owner email here you have to provide the responsible for this site and the site template. So you can apply this, this one to a SharePoint communication site or if you want to use and take advantage the capability of Microsoft Teams, you can also change here and add, chain, replace the number zero with one. In this way, it will be created a team site and then you can even create a team for this team site. So you, can, you have the Power Platform Hub site 
and then you have even the team focused for this for this topic it's up to you how you want to deal this uh, with this topic then the site title and finally the time zone here there is the link of available time zones that you can check here you can see in which time zone you are then you have just to grab the number next to the to the time zone and that's it you can then run the first PowerShell script and this will create the, the new SharePoint site with the template provided by Microsoft. With the second script where we have just to configure three variables, this will add the SharePoint site to the Power Platform DLP error settings in your admin center. That's it. So let me jump now on Visual Studio that I have already open here. And this is the content that you can find in, uh, when you download the, the script and the, the entire package. I have here the template which was hosted and available and it is available in uh, on GitHub. Then I have the readme file which point out to the link that I just opened before and then I have two scripts. I have deploy power platform hub and then set power platform hub as a DLP error settings. Okay, let's start with the first one. I already provided all information needed to start. Let me change the, just the name here of this site because I already have one. I am going to call it this time PP Up. And the admin tenant name is exactly the same. I have the correct time zone, so I can start to run this this PowerShell script. Let me save and voila, now I added the name of this script, adding and pressing on return. I can confirm typing error. Now the script is running. A new pop-up is open. I can target the account that I want to use to make this creation and provisioning. I'm going to add my password. Password added. Let me confirm. The script has run successfully. I have this message success. Deployment of Power Platform Hub complete. And now this site is available in this URL. So if I click on it, I can open directly a new tab in a browser. And I have the same layout that we have seen before. The new site has been deployed. With few steps, you can build and create a new Power Platform Hub, very useful for your organization. All right, we have seen a new feature available to build a community app for Power Platform in SharePoint. If you enjoyed this video, as always, please consider to subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.